So the Green Chamber, where the House of Representatives has given accelerated consideration and passage to the bill seeking increased salaries for judicial office holders. This comes on a day the Parliament also expeditiously passed President Bola Tinebu's request for extension of the implementation of the capital components of the 2023 budget. National Assembly Correspondent Jokia Adisa reports. Poor remuneration for judicial workers has been a subject of discourse over the past years. The growing concern has been how to achieve the independence of that arm of government in the face of poor pay. To address the challenge, President Bola Tenobu transmits a bill seeking improved pay for the judiciary. The bill receives accelerated consideration and approval. So far as here we agree that the privileges and the remunerations of judicial office holders cannot be overemphasized and therefore plead passionately with, for my colleagues to allow this bill pass a second time. If signed into law, the Chief Justice of Nigeria will earn a monthly pay of about 5.38 million naira, while other justices of the Apex Court will get 4.96 million naira. Likewise, the President of the Court of Appeal, while justices of the Court of Appeal receive 4.39 million naira. Earlier, the Speaker acknowledged correspondence from President Bola Tenumbu for extension of the 2023 supplementary budget and capital projects in the 2023 budget. These extensions are necessary to ensure that the provisions of the Act are exhaust, uh, exhaustively implemented. A new student loan bill now awaits presidential assent to stem the tide of robbery and bandits' attacks on two major dilapidated highways leading to Benue State. The House called on the federal government to commence immediate construction and rehabilitation. The federal Road Maintenance Agency, FEMA, abandoned the local Oju Federal Road, which was previously captured in the 2023 20, budget, thereby increasing kidnapping activities on Otupo and Oju Roads, thus affecting the development of communities connecting the third major tribe, Igede speaking community in Benue State. Lawmakers also want NEMA to come to the aid of victims of the recent devastating flood and erosion in Makoko and Otumara communities in Lagos mainland of Lagos State. 2024 rainy season is fast approaching. And if the flooding in these in the communities are not urgently mitigated, it will result in devastating consequence when the rain starts. Ahead of the Easter celebrations next week, the House has adjourned plenary to April 16th to give ample time to its members to enjoy the season with their constituents. Jokia Edsa, TVC News, Abuja.